Flyback transformers are devices that can give you several thousand volts from 15 up to 50,000 volts however you cannot connect a flyback directly to a power supply because they need high frequency current to operate there are several types of circuits that can do this however I will show you today what may be the easiest way to drive a flyback and it is by using an electronic ballast for fluorescent tubes like this one you have to look for a ballast for 12 volt fluorescent tubes the ballast for fluorescent tubes of 120 volts also work but they burn easily and you can also burn your flyback so it is better to use a ballast for 12 volts you have to wound a coil in the flyback core with four to six turns of wire, insulated wire, size 18AWG or similar. The two terminals of the coil will be connected to the 12 volt output of the ballast. The other two input wires go to the house outlet, 120 volts. Now the flyback has the positive high voltage output in this thick red wire. The negative is one of the pins in the bottom. In order to find the negative, we will connect the flyback and then bring the positive close to the pins. The pin where the arc jumps to the positive will be your negative. Here we can see the connections. The coil in the flyback core goes to the 12 volt output of the ballast and the ballast input to the current of the house outlet. It is convenient to place a mark in the pin where the arc jumps to the positive and then solder a wire here that will be your negative and you will have your high voltage power supply ready for your high voltage experiments. The electric arc jumps a distance of around 20 millimeters that indicates a voltage of around 20 kilovolts.